Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean episode number 6. Okay, the previous episode, um, we had a battle, a big battle between um, the, I'm not sure what the name of the guy or the girl is, but the stand, stand its name is uh, White Snake. White Snake and uh, John Gali A, we had a fight uh, against both of them and we were able to see jolene use some you know like her uh, presence of mind to actually counteract the whole situation and like, you know go to safety taking jotaro while jotaro wasn't able to do much because he was like you know set in such a trap where either he has to sacrifice himself or save jolene so and um white snake's uh stand ability is something that is like you know it's it's like a one shot thing i guess because as soon as it gets a grasp on you it'll take away your stand power and everything and then you're just like a soulless husk so it got jotaro and that was it so now obviously that like you know when the, when the episode was going on i really was concerned i was thinking like is this it really like are we going to really lose jotaro because <laughs> because jojo actually kills character you know so that's like a, a source of uh, concern and um, even though we have not seen uh, like you know Jojo's Bizarre Adventure killing off characters, uh, main characters, the main protagonists uh, after Jonathan, there were no one who died like you know while fighting or something. Uh, <laughs> like <laughs> jo uh, jo Joseph was almost going to die but you know like <laughs> the last episode like he trolled every one of us. So that was that. So that's why I was thinking like, are we really going to lose him? He's, he's supposed to be a main character. He's supposed to be the main protagonist. Uh, are they going to like really kill him off? But thankfully, like nothing like that is happening. And hopefully uh, Jolene is able to get uh, the stand back quickly and get out of the prison as well. But she needs to find the main uh, villain in this. We still don't know who that person is. We only know the stand. So yeah, I'm sure we'll, we're going to meet a lot of other like you know minor antagonists as well within this like you know within her while she is trying to find the main villain. So yeah, we'll have to handle that those as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number six of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure: Stone Ocean. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown: three, two, one. <coughs> oh yeah, um, Imperio, I think that was his name. We also got to know his We also got to know his stand power. Not stand power, but him. His past, sorry. Punishment ward. What? Wait. Another inmate. Hermes. Uh, what the? Wait. Oh my God. Wait, why is she in IV? <coughs> what happened? <coughs> oh my God, what is that? Probably a stand. Okay, so does something happen to her? Why is she in the infirmary? I wonder why they're not showing uh, Grace's face because you know, as characters get introduced, they also get introduced in the opening. So I was get I was guessing they're going to like just like how. Like, you know, we're getting to see these characters 
I thought they were also going to show Gwes's face, but probably later on. And this opening kind of makes sense now. Like I, like, and I was really kind of confused as to why th in this scene they were showing like discs and CDs. I was like, what's happening? Why are they showing <laughs> discs? But yeah, it makes it makes so much sense now. All right, let's see. Janitor. Right bomb. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, th that's the, okay. Oh, that's, th that's why she was also, she got fever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's why she's here. It took a little bit of time for her to get accustomed to a stand, I guess. Oh, is that her stand? Oh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> what? Is this an unusual stand? <laughs> okay. Wow. Whoa, what the? Wait, there are three shoes. Three? Oh, is it like making duplicates of stuff? That'll be an interesting stand. Wait, oh! <laughs> Six? Okay, I'm still not sure if this is her stand or is someone else's stand. Okay, I think it is her stand. Oh. Yeah, okay, it's her stand. There you go. That's an interesting... Oh! Wow! Perfect! This is another way to attack. Okay, this is good. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was the, oh no, why Saint got him? I wonder why did White Snake, did this guy have a stand as well? Oh. Oh no, it's. Yeah. <laughs> 
Calm down, dude. Okay. Yeah. It's also melting. Eh. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Two of those. So that guy also has a stand, I think. Oh, you can even see. Oh. Oh no! Wait. Oh, interesting. You can just put it inside you. McQueen Ugh. Um Yeah, so how he's fine. I guess she took one of it. Oh, um, hello? His personality took quite a change. And he forgot, I think, because it's with her. Yes, there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, his personality went through a drastic change. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? Oh, what the hell? Wait, what? What is that? His stand? No, what? What's happening? Oh my God! What the thing? Thunder McQueen? No. Oh, McQueen is his stand's name. Okay, not her. Take care of them for me. Okay, this is a really weird stand. Oh, so it actually drags down. I understand now. Okay. I'll need to check this portion out again because I wasn't able to properly concentrate what was saying. Yeah, I think so. Okay, what can you use this for? Okay. Okay, okay. The damage that it caused when... Oh great, here we go. I don't trust you. <coughs> uh. 
Um, okay, that's... Whoa, this guy! Oh no, he's also... Yeah, he's... Yep. He's suicidal. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I it took me a while to understand what was happening. <laughs> My God, he she duplicated her nose to breathe. Impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> okay, calm down. Just just tie him up, you know. Oh no, he'll get more suicide. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Tie him up. No, no, don't leave him alone. Just tie him up or something. Yeah. My God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a kid. Emporio. Um. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well. <clears throat> well, similar thing, yeah. Seal stores, yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she has the disc. <coughs> but only one of them she has. Yeah. I wonder why memory disc can stand. Oh, understand it now. Two discs make up a soul. Oh no, yeah, go back. Oh my god. I was telling this is what I was saying. Just tie him up or something. Oh no! Whoa! Probably someone found him and stopped him? No. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. The line solution, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, uh, he is ready. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Uh, 
que Oh my god, I think he won't really <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't care <clears throat> Oh my god What? Random lady f falling from the sky? Th no. That's messed up. That's messed up. Oh my god. What? Um <coughs> Hermes is kind of like Polnareff. Like <laughs> the way she's <laughs> the way she Um, oh, oh my god, oh no. Ah, uh, well. Hmm. Well, he is true, correct, in a way. <clears throat> well, obviously, she doesn't know you, like, you know, like, this is the first time she's meeting you. Huh. <laughs> uh okay yeah so please put down oh no great he he's more convinced that just cut off the you know the 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 wire Yeah, he, he's like wallowing in self-pity. I think that's how he gets a kick or something. Like, it's kind of twisted in a way. Oh! Okay, what, what? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, it'll... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's her stand. I wonder what she'll name that name Smack. All right, there you go. Wow.
that was nice okay we met uh, not met but we got introduced to another new stand um smack that's the name and <laughs> it, it kind of matches you know like smack uh, duplicate and then smack together <laughs> and wow like <laughs> is is every character here this big brain or something like <laughs> she she used her stand like you know she she just got to know her stand and she used her stand in such a way that it felt as if she has been using this stand for how many three to five years or something like you know, she's so accustomed to it she she just like you know like the, the thing with the nose like she just duplicated her nose and she's she can breathe like that and <clears throat> like a few other like you know instances as well the whole um what do you call that the 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 belt which the guy used to hang it himself that and like you know the, the the last instance where he duplicates him and it smacks back together and he you know he injures himself he dies i think he died didn't he or maybe not maybe he just got injured i'm not sure i think he just got injured he, he's probably not dead like i doubt that so yeah like all these things so <laughs> like it seems as if she's so accustomed to using it okay that's it like <laughs> wow like <laughs> oh my god like all the characters are so like you know intelligent i guess uh especially um not like you know intelligence to, to how to use the stand like the applicability of the stand that's in that way they're intelligent like what you can do with the stand what unique stuff like creativity yeah that's I, I can call it that the creativity in how to use that stand they are quite intelligent in that fashion so okay uh <clears throat> this uh episode we again like you know get to see Hermes and <clears throat> we get a little uh flashback of how she ended up in the infirmary now i guess the whole um like you know she started like you know getting ill she had fever most probably that was the stand kind of accustoming itself into hermes's body like jolie never had any fever or anything like that i guess she like you know she she was like you know her stand got accustomed to her body very easily and nothing happened no um uh like you know no no side effect or after effect and but Armis, i'm i'm guessing that was something like that she suddenly had fever and it took a little bit of time for her to get accustomed to the stand for the stand to get accustomed to her yeah that's what i call it for not for her to get accustomed to the stand for the stand to get accustomed to her and uh, yeah like her stand is again very interesting it's not something that you can fight with but by if you can use it in like you know in this way in this type of creative ways you can probably like you know do a lot of things like obviously stands can fight in close range like when you know when it take a humanoid shape uh, jolene's uh, uh stone free can fight uh like you know punch other stands and everything punch other people similarly i'm guessing armas stand can also do that um when it takes a humanoid form but the main applicability is the nature now like interesting stands we have here like the main cast at least has some very interesting stand for example um jolene with her you know, string ability and um hermes with her duplicating ability these are quite interesting i have to say while the other character uh for example Gwes, her stand is very simple it's as simple as it can get you can just shrink people and um jongali a his uh, stand is not as simple as Grace's stand but it's still kind of simple you know like you can use the the thing to actually you know um what do you call it uh see the uh, not see but uh feel the air currents and all that stuff and that's how you can snipe you can also get like a vision um pa uh, pale's uh, snake or white snake his stand is an interesting one it's it's also unique just like the main casts uh, which is you know like making discs out of like and we got a little uh, explanation here as well what the two discs are for one is the soul that is the stand another is the memory soul and memory okay soul and memory all right um so 
yeah that was that and yeah what was i saying okay um the guy uh the the suicidal guy i, I don't remember his name um he his stand is also another interesting stand which is like whatever he does does to himself it gets like you know like someone else gets dragged down with it i'm going to check that portion out again because at that moment i really wasn't able to follow the way they were like you know saying the things so i was able to understand what her stand was about but did not were wasn't able to follow the details so i'm going to check that out after this uh, let me just see okay uh, so yeah uh, Ernest finds out her stand ability it's a sticker that you can take off and uh, like you know no you can stick it in it gets duplicate if you take it off it gets back again so very simple stand but you can use it in so many different ways mm, for example that was one of the best ways i could see like uh, <laughs> as i said these people like you know like Elvis is also very intelligent i have to say like she just understood what her stand can do and what she does in the beginning is she uses um the the what do you call it the, the broom to smack the guy in his head by taking off the sticker and the broom kind of you know gets tries to stuck get stuck together but since he was in the way it both the brooms smacked into his head <laughs> so yeah and okay now here's the thing this is one thing that i actually don't understand um white snake was nowhere near uh the suicidal guy at that moment so why did the discs come out this is one thing that I don't understand. Like he gets smacked in, smacked in the head by the broom, he falls down, and the discs kind of pop out. Like I'm, so I'm guessing uh, uh, White Snake always probably used the stand ability on th that guy from the beginning, and that's why, like you know, oh no, he probably used the stand ability on him and did not take the discs out. There was kind of like you know like 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 a like a CD you know like the CD tray you have like you know you can just place the switch and it'll come out the CD but you don't take it out you just keep it there you know so I'm guessing when his head got smacked or something he fell down he became unconscious I guess somehow that switch got pressed and the, both of the discs came out or something. Like this is one thing that's a little bit um, unusual at least because I'm not I'm kind of guessing stuff here. I'm not able to understand what's happening because for Jotaro, the uh, White Snake just used his ability on Jotaro and j just came out and he took both of them, you know, at that moment and he just went away. But here in this guy's case, he probably used his stand on him but did not take the discs with him. That's why when he got hit by Hermes, the discs popped out suddenly. So maybe it's something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> so yeah, and Hermes takes one of the um, one of the discs, which I think is the memory disc, obviously, because he could use his stand later on. You know, like uh, and if he she took the uh, standard disc, he wouldn't be able to use his stand. So it was the memory disc that he took. She took, and obviously it can kind of also like you know explains that it is the memory disc. Because when she looks at the disc, it gives him her the information of where the money is, which is obviously something um, that he forgot later on because it was in the memory disc. His memory disc has been taken from him. So, okay, now here's another interesting thing. I did not know it could go in this way. The discs can actually, you can put the discs in yourself as well, I guess, and you'll get to see all the memories that are in it. Or something like that that's something that um we did not know about white snakes uh stand ability so yeah and at the, the beginning when like you know in the disc when it was saying that um uh oh mcqueen mcqueen i at that moment i thought maybe it was pale snake trying to recruit um hermes that that moment i thought it was something like that but then i realized later on that no it was not pay uh white snake trying to recruit hermes it was something that happened before White Snake tried to recruit um, uh, uh, the janitor guy, and <clears throat> that memory is being shown to Hermes. So that was what was happening. And McQueen, then obviously that means McQueen is the name of that guy's stand, not Hermes' stand. And that was a little like you know mistake that I made in the beginning. I thought the name of 
Her stand, Hermes' stand is McQueen, but it's not. Okay, um, okay, then the guy comes in and he starts like he's a weird guy. <laughs> he starts like you know, like, 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 as far as I could understand, his problem is like you know, he wallows in self pity and he likes it. Like, there are a lot of people who kind of like you know, are negative always, like you know, like they don't. Uh, think too much highly of themselves always thinks negative thoughts and that's why a lot of people kind of get suicidal as well But for this guy, I think he actually finds pleasure in negativity like that's pretty twisted in my opinion because Especially in the end when we see like he deliberately takes things and twists them into a negative fashion and Tries to you know wallow in self-pity and finds pleasure from it That's pretty twisted and she, he tries to kill himself because of that. Like, that's why, you know, like, uh, in the end, Hermes says that you are a, what did she say? You're a demon or something? Something like that, she said. And um, you're a bad person. So, probably because of that. Because it's twisted. It, it's very twisted. It's, it's a very weird type of a thing that he was doing. Like, in the beginning, I really thought that, yeah, this guy's probably a depressed guy, and he just, like, you know, he doesn't, he's suicidal and everything. But in the, by the end of it, I realized that, no, this, this guy is something different. He, he basically finds pleasure in it. So, that's pretty twisted. <laughs> but, yeah, that's as far as I could understand. I might be wrong, though. Maybe it, he really is depressed or something. But from what I could gather, I think he's, he probably finds pleasure in it. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, okay, um... Okay, here it is. Um, I think uh, Whitesnake kind of explains that here when we get a little, like, you know, when we see Hermes's, uh, when, when the guy kind of tries to uh, hang himself and Hermes also gets kind of, like, you know, her uh, head con constrained due to, due to the stand. Um, we get a little flashback. Whitesnake says, McQueen, you have pure evil within you. You have no malice or animosity. You don't, uh, you think you don't inconvenience others. You victimize, there you go, victimize yourself and you have no interest in others. Yet you're always wishing for someone to save you. And that's precisely why you are the worst. You drag others down with you. You are the purest form of evil. I really like you, McQueen. Yeah, it is evil. Basically, what he's doing is he, like, like this is one thing that I, at least I think, you know, like there, there can be a lot of ways you can do evil stuff, but at least, like, you know, like people who realize that do it, they're doing bad things, but still do it because of some reason, um, you know, like, I think that's better than people who are oblivious to the evil that they're committing and you know keeps going with that like um like obviously this guy he he doesn't even realize that the things that he's doing is bad now uh, i'm not saying like you know like if, if a person is genuinely oblivious to the evil that they're doing that's different i'm not talking about that like obviously like you know if you do something wrong and you don't realize that and later on realize that that oh i probably did something very wrong here and you still continue to do it or you don't stop doing it that's something different because you generally had no idea but this guy he i don't know he like it feels as if he really uh, what can i say like he, he tries to keep himself in ignorance or doesn't i don't know what i'm even saying but it, it seems like the way he you know like perceives evil and he doesn't really understand that what he's doing is evil in itself is pretty evil like as as mcqueen's uh, not mcqueen sorry as white snake said that you are oblivious to what you're doing you really want help but at the same time since you you know you you ask for someone's help and they try to help you you drag them down with you as well so this is pretty twisted and like yeah that is really evil like <laughs> what can be more evil than someone doing evil stuff without even realizing that that's evil like that's like the peak of evil i guess you can say <laughs> so yeah and he keeps continuing doing uh, continue to he keeps continue to do uh, 
continuing to do that and um yeah like that that was him that was like you know the actual thing with him so he as we saw like you know he was like oh help me i really want help when Hermes tries to help him he's like um uh, he's he, he still doesn't listen he says that oh you're helping me. you're a really genuine good person i'm so glad i i was able to like you know, see you before i die and he tries to kill himself again and his stand ability is obviously like you know, stand abilities kind of resemble the way a person's personality is so obviously his stand ability is something that drags down someone else alongside him so if he dies someone else dies as well i'm guessing it's something like that so yeah that's pretty bad and that's why uh, like you know white snake was like you know what this is the best you know like he doesn't even realize he's doing bad stuff and he's going to victimize himself people will try to go and help him and he's going to take down the other person with him as well so like it's like one of the best pawns you can have and obviously white snake needs pawns here and he he was like you know what yeah this guy is the best he, he he's just do the job and like you know you can't even like you know you can you don't even need to expect something from him he won't expect something from you this is just his nature and yeah i can use him best for uh, me to like, you know one of the best pawns that i could ever had have so yeah this guy he he first of all he tries to kill himself using the um belt which Hermes very you know intelligently diffuses the situation she duplicates the belt and it smacks together the destruction kind of happens and the belt kind of tears down then Hermes like you know Hermes tries to um you know like tries to help him says that you know like what are you doing why are you doing this don't do this again all that stuff and he's like oh you're a good person um that's very nice let me just go and kill myself again and she just like <laughs> tries to drown himself again Hermes uses her stand ability in a very intelligent way she duplicates her nose now here's one thing um yeah he, she duplicates her nose doesn't she yeah she duplicates her nose uses that opportunity uses that opportunity uh, wags the you know the guy out of the drowning thing and his nose her nose snaps back in now i'm guessing she probably got a little damaged her nose you know because it went together it probably hurt but yeah okay that was that and then Hermes you know tries to run away from there he meets Emporio I think that was his name now Emporio I don't know like he, he there's something with him you know there is something with him now I don't know like the way he kind of lurks around and like you know it's suddenly somewhere you know where you don't even expect to see him it kind of seems like he's a ghost or something like I would actually not be surprised if by the end they reveal him to be a ghost you know like he was like a ghost or something it won't be surprising to me because the way he does stuff you know suddenly popping up doesn't go in like crowded places and everything and you know warns everyone about what's going to happen and all that stuff so yeah but anyways i'm sure we'll get to know more about him in the future and he explains everything to hermes all that stuff about jolene and all and you know tells her to go like you know like and hermes realizes what's happening she goes back ah, and that guy is trying to using the saline solution to electrocute himself now uh, his his story is pretty sad obviously you know his backstory as he says that he he, he was just cleaning the shotgun and it shot it's like you know shot and someone like who was jumping from the building got shot and obviously like who would even believe you know who would even believe him that yeah like you know what i was cleaning my shotgun the, sh the gun suddenly triggered and then there was this lady trying to kill herself and she got shot by that like no one's going to believe you if you say something like that so yeah he got accused of killing her and you know like that's that's like 
like that's unlucky as hell like what 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 is that even like you know like you you accidentally shot the shit shoot the shotgun and there's this lady in the trying to kill himself who gets shot by that and you can and you get accused for that that's bad luck and yeah <laughs> and then Hermes starts talking about her her panty <laughs> oh my god well wow. And um, yeah, that was that. And then uh, the whole thing with, you know, her telling him about Saturday and Monday. And he's like, oh, but I was captured in Saturday. <laughs> and then he, then he tries to like, you know, like says that, oh, you're just saying this because you want to, you know, like save yourself. Like, yeah, what else do you expect? You're trying to kill yourself and someone else is getting dragged in with it. Like, like, what would she even do? and like this is the thing like he he like you know like i don't know this is the weird thing about this guy he's victimizing himself and at the same time he i don't know like what can i say and nothing will probably go through him you know like however time how many time people would try to make him understand that you know like everything's going to be okay you maybe you were unlucky Maybe, you know, like, life doesn't go as well as you want it to. But I'm sure something good will happen in the future. So don't try to, you know, like, kill yourself, all that stuff. I'm sure a lot of people can say that to him. And there'll be, like, you know, so, but even how, well, what can I say? Like, if there are, like, 10 to 20 person who tells him that, he'll probably understand that for a moment. And then he's just going to go do, start doing his own thing again. Like that, that's basically him. And since he has like, you know, his standability is something like that. He's going to keep dragging people down with him. And yeah, so like, you know, he, he says that, oh, you're a really nice person because you know, like you, you sound genuine. I'm so happy. So I'm going to kill myself. Wow. So yeah, he, he, he tries to do that. Hermes obviously duplicates him and smacks his head together and i doubt he's dead obviously he's not dead i i doubt that i think so at least i'm not sure but no like i don't know maybe he is dead like he seems like you know like it seems like he got electrocuted after that as well so i'm not sure if he's dead or not but you know like the 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 other disc also comes out now here's like the way she applied that um again like the applicability of these stands are really interesting um the sticker burned itself because of the electrocution and that's why you know it it duplicate first and it merged back again like he she didn't even have to snatch the uh, sticker away it got burned and that's why it like you know like wow like that's impressive and uh, yeah so that's it like i'm not sure if this guy is alive or dead probably i don't know but but if he's dead then this will be a big problem because again like you know like this is a prison so but yeah like we'll have to wait for that uh okay um yeah i was a bit distracted by the end of it i was trying to find figure something out um, I was trying to figure out that the disc that he had in cell, uh, within him, the standard disc, it popped out and Hermes took that. So that means if he is, even if he's alive, he won't be able to use his stand ability. No, not only he won't be able to use his stand ability, he'll, he'll be in like an empty husk because, yeah, because you know, like that's what happened to Jotaro because like the stand is basically your soul. So... Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing he's dead. Because of that, you know? Because Yeah, it, it wouldn't actually it would make sense if he's actually dead and he she took the disc because you know if he's alive, he he's going probably going to come back to life or something, but he'll be just like a soulless empty husk or something. Like that'll be kind of bad, wouldn't it? So yeah. All right, that was it. That was this episode. We get introduced to a new stand, and yeah, just like Jolene's stand, you can use this for a lot of interesting things as well.
<laughs> and Hermes seems to be getting accustomed to this pretty quickly. So yeah, and now she's probably trying to find, she'll probably trying to find Jolene and hopefully we meet, uh, they meet and you know, team up. So yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to this episode. Uh, so as I said, one thing I'm actually unable to understand here is like, you know, even after White Snake used his ability on him, you know, he did not take away the disc. So why, why did he even use his ability on him? You know, like if he did not take away the discs, like what was the point of it? That's one thing I'm unable to understand. And another thing I'm kind of like, you know, it's kind of unusual is like if he used his ability on him, so he kept the disc within him. So why did it suddenly pop out when he became unconscious? You know, when, when Hermes hit him for the first time. Like that's another thing that's a little bit confusing. Like these things are kind of confusing me. I'm not sure why uh a few things these things are happening i'm sure they're going to explain because we do be know barely nothing about white snake's ability it's just what we saw from jotaro so probably they're going to give an explanation in the future when we actually get to meet this guy the guy who's using white snake ability so yeah so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean episode number um six yeah six so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out but no spoilers so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode um hopefully i'll be able to upload another episode tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode of jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean until then goodbye and have a nice day